Folks, don't try this at home. The boys need to convert their houseboat into a salvage barge to find much needed steel buried in the lake. Hey! Hey, how you like my new place? Oh, it's great, because we built it. I hate to wake you up, but we're going to have to do some work on this boat. Man, was I bummed out when them fellers said they needed my new place I found. I really don't care for the water that much. Can't swim. But I love boats, if that makes any sense. The boys are going to try to yank the camper right off the pontoon using ropes and a come-along, a hand-operated winch. You guys be careful of them ropes. If one of them snaps, it's going to shoot right straight back towards the trees. Yeah, keep going, Spencer. I'm going, brother. All right, it's real close. The tension is so tight on that come along, if it snaps, it could cut Spencer's head off. There he goes. Watch out! Oh, yeah. When it went and kaboom, son, that was fun. That, that made my day. It's still it's, good and secure. It survived. She's solid. It. And we need to build the crane right here on top of it. We'll have to anchor it to these two corners. Eugene's plan is to install a crane arm so they can haul up any metal they find in Lake Fontana. The boys will deck the boat and mount the crane arm in the center for the best balance. I believe tin cannon work's done here, fellas. Good to see you. Yep. Now, I'm not surprised tin can took off. That guy is allergic to work. See you, man! See you later. As tin can skedaddles, the boys scour around for a crane arm. Something like this would be perfect. It has a winch, you know, it has a boom. This one's even extendable. This arm has everything we need, but it's just too big and heavy for our boat to handle. And we need just exactly that, but a lighter gauge. All right, let's keep looking. Is that a record right there? Uh, it's, well, it's a flatbed. He's got to have something out here we can use. Whoa, look at that, dude. Wow, check that out. No way. The boys have found an old tow truck with a crane and hook that might just be the right size. Hey, what are you guys doing? Jimmy Don came walking up, and he owns the yard here. What would you want for one of these, Boone? Or more like, uh, could we just have it? I'm going to ask what's in this for me first. Well, we're going fishing for metal. That sounds interesting. 50% of whatever we find is going to the community chest. You know, when you drive through town, you're going to know that you had a hand in getting that food on people's tables. Up here, when you give your word, people hold you to it. We've got to do our part for the community chest. And the only way we're going to do that right now is to get Jimmy Don on board. OK. All right, we can do something. Yeah, I'll definitely lend a hand. I'm just relieved that Jimmy Don helped us out. He didn't have to. 